Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this video about repairing a bicycle hand pump. The problem I am trying to fix today is that the pump is rather rough when you try to use it. Uh, there's a lot of grinding sounds, and uh, it feels like as you push down there isn't any kind of lubrication in the compression chamber. So I'm going to try to replace the grease and reduce that uh, grinding sound. To get started, I'll remove the retaining screws on the collar at the top of the pump. There are two screws here, so I need to make sure to get both of those out. Once that's done, you can then pull off the collar and then draw out the piston by pulling on the handle or the shaft. We're going to get started by cleaning the inside of the compression chamber. Uh, a lot of grease can build up there and it will become, uh, it'll mix with dirt and become very gummy. It'll make it very hard to pump. To clean that, I'm going to make a scrubber, which is just a cloth on the end of the piston with the o ring removed. Uh, to help thin out and clean that grease, I'm going to use acetone. Scrub the inside of the cylinder, clean off the cloth, and repeat as necessary. Looking at the piston here, you can see that it's pretty dirty. The uh, old grease and oil I may have put in there needs to be cleaned off. That uh, rubber ring needs to be pulled off and cleaned. And then the shaft has been rusted, so I need to try to clean that off as well. I'll pull off that o-ring with a screw and then clean the o-ring with a rag. The kind of grease I'm going to use is molybdenum graphite. It's a very good uh, general purpose grease. Lots of greases you could use though. To put the grease on, I just uh, dipped a paper towel into the grease and then used that paper towel to spread the grease all the way around the end of the piston and on the O-ring. You want to be pretty liberal with the grease because it's going to have to spread inside of the chamber as well. To clean off the rust on the shaft of the pump, I'm just going to use some uh, rather rough steel wool. The steel wool really helps to remove the rust, but not too much more. That's it. That's all I had to do to fix those main issues with the pump. The pump will work a lot more smoothly now and probably last quite a bit longer. Here is further information related to fixing bicycle pumps. I will talk about all of these topics, but I'm going to start with how to avoid jamming the o-ring when you're assembling the pump. You'll find that when you go to put the piston back into the chamber, the uh, compression chamber, that o-ring might get caught on the top of that tube. Uh, the best way to get that to go back in is just uh, push the o-ring in from all sides or whichever side is pulling out um, and then gently push from the shaft or the handle uh, to insert the end of the pump back in. Uh, you really don't want to force this because you'll end up tearing or uh, completely breaking that o-ring. Maybe you're watching this video because you actually have a broken o-ring inside of your pump and you need to replace it. Uh, simply use the deconstruction information I gave and then uh, you'll need to go to your hardware store and find, or even online, and find an o-ring. The best thing to do will be go to, to a hardware store though um, so you can compare all the sizes uh, and make sure you're going to get an accurate fit. Not everybody has acetone. It's a paint stripper among other things. Um, so what are your alternatives? Well, uh, alcohol is a milder alternative. It doesn't clean, clean quite as effectively, but does a very good job. It also evaporates very quickly and won't leave a residue. Um, you can use soap and water, but you need to make sure you rinse very thoroughly. Um, if you leave any soapy residue, that could interfere with uh, the lubrication um, and might not let the grease work properly. Uh, your other options, uh, different types of cleaners, I can't really think of any, but if you were to use those, just make sure um, that if they don't evaporate very quickly, that you rinse them off very thoroughly. You can use a different type of grease to the one that I used. 
Um, I saw at the hardware store that there was lithium grease, which said it was good with uh, dealing with high pressure, so that would be a very good alternative. Um, and there are probably many other kinds of grease you could use as well. I would definitely avoid using an oil like WD-40 to try to fix your pump. Uh, I've tried this in the past and never had any ex success. I found things start to kind of bind up inside of the pump. So grease is really going to be your best option. I really hope this video was able to help someone. If you have any further questions, go ahead and leave it in the comment section. Thank you.